Let's go now to KPI Next with Justin Andrews at the crime scene this afternoon. And Justin, you have an update on the investigation. Yeah, we just learned that the gunman appeared to have fired 39 shots here and apparently targeted some of his victims. All of this coming down within the last hour or so. You see right here the crime scene still very active as far as when it comes to crime scene tape and also a sheriff's deputy's car right there off in the distance. That's because investigators are still at the VTA facility combing through the scene here. We're told the sweep inside the building, the sheriff told us, will last for many more hours. They're moving very strategically strategic with this one, collecting all evidence. When deputies got that first call yesterday morning, they moved in on Samuel Cassidy, who took his own life. This was after the shooter told at least one person, quote, I'm not going to shoot you. Cassidy killed nine of his co-workers with two semi-automatic handguns. The sheriff said the shooter also appeared to have a timer or some type of device to set his home on fire. That's about 13 miles away from the VTA scene here. Sheriff Lori Smith and her team have been on the ground here since the beginning, since all of this broke. She took some time to talk to us this morning about where they stand in this investigation. So um, we provide law enforcement services to VTA and um, we, our team had actually trained all VTA employees what to do in an active shooter. Um, they were told to, hide, to run, to hide or to engage the suspect. Um, I don't know what, I don't know what they did, but I think that they reacted as they should have and certainly with our um, entry team and um, able to extricate victims, that kind of protocol that we have in this county, I think what we did um, yesterday saved lives. Wow, when did you do that training? Um, within the last year. What within the, Yeah, and actually an exercise in that building. And Justin, deputies were in the middle of a shift change when those shots rang out, and they quickly moved in. Yeah, they did land. According to the sheriff, she told us when they got that initial call, they rushed to the scene. When they entered the facility here, those deputies actually heard those bullets flying while they were trying to save lives inside that facility. So obviously a clear sign of bravery from these deputies.